25, 30 years ago, one day I woke up and there was a swarm of bees in my backyard in Arkansas. I called a friend and said, what do we, what do, we do? And he brought over a hive and we put those bees in that hive and started. I started beekeeping at that point and uh, really enjoyed it for probably 10 years that I did that there. Uh, but then when we put this green roof on uh, the Wedgwood Academic Center, I thought, okay, here's my chance. And uh, so that's when you know, put a couple of hives up there, two hives up there. Uh, really, just started them this spring with with populating them with bees. And then, as I watch these bees work, uh, there's some really great lessons there. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, I I go and just uh, check and see how they're and they're doing fine. They don't need that, but I think I figured it out. I kind of need it. I kind of enjoy just seeing them work, and I enjoy. I enjoy being around them. I think over time they've gotten more comfortable with me. Although there's one guy out there <laughs> that I'll go sit down and if I get too close, he comes and he just, he's right there, you know. He doesn't sting me, but he just sits there like, back off, dude. And I'll back up and he'll say, oh, okay. And this is like, to me, this is like Belmont's hive, not mine. And uh, I get the privilege of working with it, but, um, so next summer when we're or spring when we're able to do our first harvest, I think I'll uh, create these little bottles of uh, Belmont Sweet Deal honey, and whenever you know people do something pretty extraordinary, that's remarkable. You know, where well, I get notes from students praising teachers or when it, all the good stuff that happens is you know just give it give it away to people that. Uh, it, as a form of recognition for, for a sweet deal.